All right, good morning. So uh, just gonna give you a quick tour of um, our sea can chicken coop that uh, I've designed, built myself, kind of try to figure out. Uh, I did a lot of research, uh, a lot of looking into finding different designs and couldn't seem to find anything that uh, worked for us. Um, from a price point perspective and for um, holding about 400 chickens comfortably and having a little bit of extra room. Uh, so we came up with these uh, sea cans. I got uh, three uh, 45 foot high cubes, so they're nine feet tall. And uh, so you can see them right here. Um, I'll show you. We uh, cut open, cut the openings, uh, put some doors in, primed them, painted them, uh, just to clean them up and make them look a little bit more uh, not so not such an eyesore. Uh, so I got these two eight foot roll up doors. It's gonna get a little bit loud in here. So, um, so this is inside the sea can. So we have a little bit of roosting bars in here. Um, the roll up doors, which are awesome. Easy for rolling up for the winter or rain. A quick little two seconds come out here, roll them down and the chickens are dry. Uh, we tend to get the rain coming from this side, so this has been pretty good. So here you can see a few more roosting bars. Uh, I've strung some LED lights. Um, and we've uh, kept half of it open. It's been pretty good so far. Uh, I can always add the other side and uh, open up the entire end of this, this one sea can. Uh, if I need more ventilation, which I don't think I currently need. Uh, there's two openings uh, for the chickens to come through. Um, again, opening. And uh, here we have the feeder, which I built out of plywood. And it holds about five days worth of feed. So I don't have to come in here every day and feed them. Can go away for the weekend. Uh, watering. So we have a water line. Um, keeps the water nice and fresh. Uh, don't have to worry about stale water or cleaning anything out. Uh, the nesting boxes. Uh, these are amazing. Uh, so you can see chickens are just climbing in there. The eggs just roll away, um, stay a lot cleaner, uh, we've had less washing to do, but we did find we have about 350 chickens right now, and it's not enough. So we have six, um, so we temporarily had to build a couple uh, smaller ones for them to lay a few eggs, and uh, here's your fan. Uh, the fan uh, we have on a temperature control, um, so it will come on when it gets too hot. Um, it's pretty amazing. Um, here I can turn it on the other way. The louvers open up. And uh, get a little bit of air circulation in case we need it. Especially once the doors are closed and uh, we get into the uh, fall, winter season. Um, if everything is closed up, I like to circulate a little bit of air in there just to make sure that uh, we keep it nice and clean and fresh for them. So again, the outside of the chicken coop here with the two roll-up doors. Um, so we lined them up pretty much just next to each other. So the two chicken doors, you can see inside there. And then uh, in the third one, um, we've just created a bit of a storage, essentially. Um, and this has been nice just to park the tractor or quad and random things to keep them secure and out of the weather. Um, so we got a power line coming in here 
which is in the conduit coming in underground. Um, on this side of the secant, uh, we have our water line distribution coming in for the water feeder, um, coming from a hydrant, so I can run a heat trace on that in the winter and um, keep it from freezing. Uh, our silo, which has been a money saver for sure, um, being able to buy bulk feed and uh, just using barrels to feed the chickens. Uh, so in here is our little, we'll call it the egg collecting room. Uh, so here's the other side of these uh, nest boxes. These are best nest box. Um, so you can see the chickens, the eggs just roll right out. Um, they just started to lay, so, you know, there's just a few in here right now. Um, and then I got a plug in here as well as this is the uh, power going to the uh, fan. Uh, I, I might put a uh, switch in there so it can have an override um, if I want to. Um, for right now it's just again temperature controlled. Uh, here I have a uh, timer for the lights inside the chicken coop. Um, so this way uh, comes fall I can have the light come on about 4 o'clock and give them just a couple extra hours of light. Um, and, uh, or if I need to work in there, it's been pretty, really, really nice to to get this uh, the light up, being able to work and see properly. So, I hope uh, this can help someone. Um, like I said, uh, kind of did our own design. We need to do some insulation for the winter and get a little winter prep ready. But we have a few months before that happens. Uh, so we're. Uh, We've been, I've been really happy with this design and how it works. Um, small improvements obviously always needed, but in general, I've, uh, I've really, really liked this C-CAN program. So keep them nice and clean. They look good. Um, yeah, hopefully that works for someone.